Pradesh are struggling for survival. This is either because of unseasonal rainfall that has damaged crops or a bumper crop that has sent market prices crashing. But this means that over 70% of the state's population has taken a hit because the state government figures say that they are engaged either directly or indirectly in agricultural activities. Now, as a part of our ongoing series, What's Ailing Rural India, CNBC TV 18 Santhya Gora reports that many farmers blame poor agri-infrastructure for a lot of their problems. Take a look. This cold storage facility in Bhopal is one of six in the area. It is privately owned and managed like four others in the region. The only government-owned facility in the region is dedicated to dairy products, so even though using the government-run facility would cost a farmer 40 to 50 percent less than a private facility, not many farmers can avail the services. This means many vegetable and fruit farmers have to transport their produce long distances to delay spoiling. This poor infrastructure is a problem for farmers across the state, especially when farmers are dealing with crop damage and crashing market prices. According to the Madhya Pradesh government, there are 250 coal storages in the state, out of which only five belong to the state government. That's just 2% of the overall coal storages in the state. This shortage of coal storages, a crucial agri-infrastructure, makes the farmers of the state more vulnerable to market fluctuations. And at times of market price crash of various crops, this lack of affordable storage options pushes the farmers towards distress sale. The worst hit are the marginal farmers who own a maximum of one hectare of land and make up 48% of the state's farming community and small farmers who own between one and two hectares of land and account for 28% of this community. Then there are landless farmers like 40-year-old Dinesh Shaheria of Eatkhedi village in Bhopal. Under the state's Bhatia system, he farms the land of a large farmer, paying out of pocket for seeds, pesticides, fertilizers, transport and labour. He has to share one half of either his sale proceeds or his profits with his landlord, depending on the landlord's whims. In these circumstances, Dinesh cannot afford to store his crop in a private coal storage facility. So he has only one option during adverse market conditions, a distress sale. कोल स्टोर में होगा ये 20 रुपए एक कट्टी के उतारने को होगा ये 10 रुपए टोटल होगा ये 30 रुपए फिर लेने जाएंगे जब 10 रुपए बढ़ेंगे हम माल के अब वहाँ से लान के बोरियाँ खराब हो जाती हैं तो वो बोरियाँ 15 रुपए की जी बोरी खरीदो फिर उसमें डालो फिर किराए से लाओ 30 रुपए जैसे 10 कट्टी की ये मंडी तो 10 कट्टी के 300 उन्हें दो फिर उसमें से आठ ओमे से वो दुकान में जिसकी दुकान पे जाएगी गाजर तो दूसरा हम माल लेगा दस रुपए कट्टी। Even large farmers say poor agri infrastructure is a big problem. Given the near absence of government-run facilities within a reasonable distance, only the significantly more expensive private facilities are available. Seventy-year-old Mansi Mali says he stopped using cold storage facilities over ten years ago. प्राइवेट में तो नहीं रख सकते और सरकारी है नहीं है सरकारी में पैसे कम लगेगा और हम इसमें प्राइवेट में रखेंगे तो हमारा खर्चा ज्यादा बढ़ जाएगा और प्राइवेट में पैसे मर्जी माँबाप के पैसे लेते हैं वो तो। The center and the state government have implemented schemes to ramp up coal storage and agri infra facilities in the state, but many of these facilities are either being built under the public-private partnership model. Or are being built and managed by private entities and cooperatives with the help of government grants, meaning usage costs may not come down. So farmers are likely to remain dependent on market forces and measures like minimum support prices and market intervention schemes to keep their livelihoods going. In Bhopal, Santhya Bora. Well, with that, it's a wrap on this edition of India Business.